I've I've actually taught quite a few classes. I've taught in I've taught in yoga studios. I've taught in rec centers. I've taught in community buildings. I started teaching a couple classes in schools, but they were private schools, and obviously they have a bigger budget to work with as well. But for me, I really wanted to reach out to kids who aren't really exposed to it, and they don't really know that it exists. It's not necessarily a business for me, to be honest. It's just my way to present something that I can offer to everyone and I feel like there's just there's so many studios out there overpriced studios there's a lot of classes which are being offered in actual community centers and stuff for uh, adults and teens and so for the youth technically they wouldn't as, as far as I know and what I think I don't feel like they're they're really aware that yoga and meditation isn't something where you're sitting there with your eyes closed and you're just you're stretching you have to be flexible you have to be a certain way it's for adults it's for women it's um it has something to do with being healthy and active and all this stuff and so I felt like the only way where I can really go and expose youth to this is to present it in a business way I don't I don't say hey like you know I'm an instructor this is what I expect from you it's this is how I am to my students I'm a friend I have a studio I, I it's mobile as well I'm gonna bring the classes to schools I'm gonna bring the classes to your home to the park wherever you want this is something that I do which a lot of businesses don't do that's why I just I decided to start the laughing Buddha is just a way to kind of present what I have to offer and kind of expose it to the school system I would say um, more so than parents just because I've tried to reach out to schools and they they didn't want me. <laughs> they they didn't want me because they just thought, you know, here's this girl who teaches yoga and she just wants to teach yoga. You know, if I actually have a portfolio and I have something I can put together and say, I am the laughing Buddha. This is my business. This is my website. These are my social accounts. This is how long I've been teaching. This is my background, my experience. It, I've had an easier time. I've had an easier time reaching to reaching out to um, to the people who I really want to teach and who I'm targeting altogether.